today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Minnesota Vikings offensive playbook. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the bunch tight end formation. This is a formation that we really haven't seen a lot, but I do think this formation is actually really good this year. If you guys want to get my entire Minnesota offensive ebook, it's going to be uh, we're going to be dropping that in our school community. Our school members get access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to that community in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to everything on the site, both Madden and college football. So if you're looking to get better at the game, check out the school site. And we're going to be taking a look here at the Minnesota Bunch Tight End. Now, the reason we're using Minnesota's Bunch Tight End is because of these cheat motion plays that we have here, specifically this cheat tight end hitch halfback seam. And this has a little cheat motion, little fade, uh, which is really, really effective this year. So the way we're going to use this, uh, first and foremost, I just want to show uh, what this is kind of first purposes for. So the first thing that I like to do with this, with this play is we're just going to uh, post our tight end. We're going to corner route this outside bunch receiver, and we're going to stem him all the way down. And then we're just going to drag this slot receiver so you see it looks kind of like this now the main thing we're going to be able to do with this play is if they do run a cover two and they have a cloud flat defender or a hard flat defender on that outside you're going to see that this guy on the fade is going to just instantly shred cover two it's going to be a nice throw off rip and you're just going to be able to attack that now there's some other ways we're going to use this play to attack uh, cover two soft squat, but I did want to show one thing about cover two soft squat. So I'm gonna switch to cover two soft squat. Again, if you want to just use the corner on the play to kind of save a hot route, you can do that, but I like to put the outside guy on the corner. But anyways, you'll see here, the soft squat is still gonna go down to the running back, even though the running back is on like a, a streak, so to speak, he still typically will leave that uh, cheap motion. And so, that route becomes, in my opinion, extremely valuable. Um, another big piece of value for these uh, cheat motion plays is how they help counter any kind of man coverage. So if you're getting shaded down cover to man, which is really good in this game, you're going to see that this will do a really good job against that. So you'll see here, get that cheat motion. You see how we get that bump, that deep half kind of still post focus on the tight end and then this becomes wide open over the top so really does a good job of manipulating man coverage as well we'll just go to like a basic um cover and rob or press and again we'll just post the tight end on this left hand side another thing you could do is you could have a like a stemmed curl or something like that to the slot receiver and then a backside drag or a Stem corner, so kind of a versatile play, a little bit of kind of do a lot of different things with this. Here's cover one. You'll see cover one normally he's going to actually not get burned, so kind of just keep that in mind that you know this this is really going to get shaded down man, but it's not it's not something that's going to just shred every man coverage, right? And then on this left side here, if we're going to do kind of a route combo like this. Once they start to kind of shift to more of a zone coverage, then this little backside drag is going to be super available and super open for you. You can hit that. And then typically what we're seeing a lot right now is we're seeing a lot of cover two on the bunch side. So kind of almost like a, like a quarter, quarter, half type of defense is pretty common. So if we do get a quarter, quarter, half, what's going to happen is on this left-hand side, this is where... If you just leave the play basically like this, the reason this could be an advantage is because this bench concept will do a really good job of attacking that cover two because that deep half, uh, that deep half on the left side, he still has to respect the tight end route, and so he's not going to play that corner route. So that's another kind of setup, if you will, that I think is pretty good. And then let's say that they climb to the tight end. This running back streak becomes wide open or this running back kind of seam route. So there's just a lot in this play that is, I think, really, really effective and you can use to manipulate a lot of different uh, of different coverages. Another setup that I really like, as I said, is using kind of almost like a backside drag like this or 
even just leaving the out route. So you could have it like this as well. If you're going to do this, I would stem the tight end post down one or two uh, ticks just to make it run a little sharper. And you're going to see here that now this tight end can kind of get across the field. But in general, I wouldn't say it's like super, super um, effective. I would probably just maybe leave this bench concept here on the left side, kind of force them to, to really have to play you know, basic defense on that left side, and then we're able to manipulate it. So now while this formation is also really, so this formation is just really good against man this year. Like it's really good against man. So another play that you have is this play whips. Uh, this play whips is really good against man coverage. One of the simple things that I like to run is essentially just a flat route on this outside bunch receiver. I'm going to take this slot receiver and put him on a post route. And then on the right side, I really like to flat street combo. And the reason I like this is it's just a quick hitting play that's going to do a lot uh, in terms of being able to beat pretty much anything the defense wants to do. And it's really good against man coverage. This zig is money. Um, it's going to be very difficult for them to consistently play man coverage. You're not going to really see a lot of good man coverage on this. I mean, this is just a good play for – for kind of beating it if you wanted to another thing you could do on this is you can you don't like you can use this corner and the reason why i want to show the corner route uh is because let's say for situationally maybe they're using a hard flat watch this hard flat still get pulled out and you can still throw this so even though the corner route isn't a flat route it's still going to pull to the sideline any flat zone so that's another thing that you kind of have access to here. Um, if you want to use this tight end whip route, what you can also do within this play is you can kind of do um, essentially just come out, stem this route down, and then just post this guy and then just call hike. And you'll see here that it's kind of hard to use or both of these areas of the field. So essentially, again, we're trying to consistently funnel them into – this idea of a shaded down cover four or a shaded down cover three. And then once we start to get that more consistently, one of my favorite things to do is to utilize a streak on my tight end. You could still do it like this, but I think it's better like this. And then what we're really trying to look for on this play is we're really looking for this motion streak. You'll see that I can just throw this with an outside pass lead. And a lot of times I'll just be able to almost back shoulder this. This specific cheat motion is a little different than some of the other cheat motions. But the reason that this is really good is because I can freeform this cheat motion to the sideline. So you'll see here I'm going to freeform it now to get a little bit more bend on the ball. And I'll be able to kind of throw that to the sideline. Now the cover four is going to play this the best. But against cover three, this is, I mean, this is almost a free, um, free several yards. You just kind of wait till he turns his back and you can kind of throw in that kind of area of the field. So effectively, what we've done with all of our plays is we've kind of funneled them into having to be in this cover four style defense is really the only defense that's going to be close to being effective. So what I'll do is I'll also kind of mix in some setups like this out of this gives them the same basic look but the reason i like this setup is really we're looking more specifically to attack kind of that left side and i, I do have some setups for cover four that we're going to get into in a minute but i just want to show that you can actually throw this i got a pretty bad uh, pretty bad free form there let me show you so when i have a hard flat over here we're just going to look to throw all the way to the left side you see we're able to kind of throw that in that area and then if they are not playing hard flat coverage what you're looking for here, okay, they're not playing hard flats. Let's just take what the defense gives us and just check down to our tight end over the middle of the field. So that's one of my favorite plays um, just in terms of beating cover four. So another play that I want to go over in this is these other uh, couple of cheat motion plays, and we did already kind of cover whips. So I want to go over this uh, cheat tight end hitch and go, as well as this cheat H out, and then we'll cover some specific things you can do against cover four. So uh, again, if you take a look at why uh, this play is really good, this cheat H out, one of the things that you might not know that you can do this year is you can actually stem these cheat motions right so this one is a specific it's more of a streak type of a cheat motion and it's paired with this nice corner route so what i like to do is I like to use that to be able to throw 
more stuff to the right side of the field. One of the weaknesses of bunch tight end is it's kind of honestly difficult to attack this left side of the field. So what I like to do with something like this is I'm going to stem the cheap motion, uh, the, the, the out route on the cheap motion. I'm going to stem him all the way up. So let me, let me reset. Let me show you what this would look like. So again, you're just stemming it all the way up and it basically is going to turn it into a streak, right? Then what I like to do here is just simply drag this slot receiver. And so there's a lot of action going on over the middle of the field, but essentially what we're really looking for is really looking for this tight end. And we're just kind of trying to hope that the user gets held in the middle of the field. Now, another way to set this up is you can I also really like that this tight end is on a, like a deeper corner or a, like a sharp corner. But anyway, and again, I would, I would literally try to stem this all the way up. So it's like that. And then you can um, block your running back and run it like this as well. So if you want a little bit extra protection, you're still going to have that high low option on that right hand side. And as you see that tight end corner is going to be kind of get into a spot on the field. That's kind of difficult to defend. And then obviously if they switch stick to that tight end, then of course you can throw this. The other thing I like about this play is this is still going to be decent against cover two. So in the example of like a soft squad or something like that, if we just, yeah, you see how you see how it's a little different than the other streak, right? They should not be in, cover two in, in all honesty they really shouldn't but if they are consistently in a cover two coverage i just want to show you that the soft squat this is why i like to put the running back on a table or something like this because the soft squat is going to basically bite down and then you see your corner route is going to get open on that side so this is one of the more underrated cheat motion plays uh within bunch tight end that i think is really effective now let's talk about this cheat uh hitch and go type deal again one of the things that i want to show is you can stem so this route on the left side as you see i can actually stem this slot receiver all the way down and so what i like to do with this play is i like to drag and almost turn it into smash return and then basically run the combo like this so as you can see here you're going to see this little Kind of almost return route over the middle of the field, and then you have that tight end post kind of topping the topping the play. So you kind of have a little bit of everything uh, within this. Another thing you can do out of this play cheat tight end hitch go is we can post this guy and kind of get a little bit more of a right side flood. So if we wanted to literally turn this pretty much into smash return, you know, you could certainly do that as well. The tight end, um, the actual. Uh, cheat motion let me cover that real quick on this cheat tight end hitch go i don't think you can stem this one unfortunately i wish you could let's just let it run yeah i don't think you can because it's like an arrow route and so i don't find a ton of purpose in that specific in route the bay i mean honestly the the best thing you probably could do with that in route is if you wanted to if you really wanted to use this in route you would want to stem this return route all the way down, drag this backside guy, and then streak your tight end. So it'd look like this. And just watch kind of how this how this play kind of runs. It's a little tight. Uh, as you can see, the spacing's just not really what we would want. So anyways, I probably wouldn't do that. But the next thing I want to go over is some specific things you can do that really manipulates cover three and cover four. So the main thing that I want to show you against cover four is triple out we're just gonna streak or if you want to do the stemmed curl trick you can stem this slot all the way up on a, on a curl route and then we're gonna have that outside corner all the way down and then from there honestly this is pretty much what i like to do um, i like to block my running back but i'm mainly wanting to really try to hit this this outside corner now what will happen a lot is you're gonna get a lot of cover four in this offense because it's so compressed. So what you wanna do against cover four is this out this deep corner route. This is why I don't stem him or anything. This uh, deep corner route in the play triple out, what'll happen against cover four, this is just like a stock cover four, that outside quarter uh, will basically bite down onto that 
He'll he'll bite down on that short corner. It's a little better if they're pressed. But he'll he'll typically bite down on that short corner. I'll try to show you what I'm talking about here. Let's see if we can get it when he's backed off. Yeah, see the bite. So you want to throw it right on the bite. And then I'm throwing it just a little bit late. You're kind of anticipating the bite. And again, a lot of times they'll switch stick and they'll if they switch stick, it's like it's like dead. I mean, it, it's just if they switch stick to that outside quarter, um, this is almost always open. Here you'll see it a little bit more here. Let's see if we can get the bite. And I guess he's I forgot. Did I not press there? If he doesn't bite, even if he does bite on the outside guy, the outside guy is open. But I want to show like a press quarter. If they're pressing their outside quarters, this will um, this will cook it. Let's we'll see. See how he kind of bites down, and then you can kind of throw this almost like a post. That is uh, that is an option that you have. Now, what a lot of people do is they don't do that. They just kind of leave that outside quarter backed off, right? So a lot of people leave that outside quarter backed off. So in that situation, we would just simply take what the defense gives us, say, okay, we're just going to throw throw this to the sideline. Um, and then one other thing with this is there is a really tight – it's a, it's a really kind of specific window. But if you throw this kind of right here, he can sometimes split a cover four. So it is a little bit of an anticipation throw. Um, but the other thing – that I wanted to say as far as a cover four uh, to the bunch side is another thing that you can do is kind of the old school combo like this. I think this is still a really good combo. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that as it pertains to match, but I really like that route combo. And we'll talk about this against match coverage. So because you're in bunch tight in, you're going to see a little bit more of an uptick in match coverage. And so this is something that you can do that is very simple, but it's very effective uh, against match. And this would be to utilize – you can do it out of any play, but it's basically this route combo right here. And so if you watch this slot receiver, you're going to see that he's going to basically just run away from the match coverage, and it's going to be a one-play score. So you're able to manipulate match coverage fairly easily uh, within this. The only other thing that I wanted to go over as far as on this left-hand side is a cover two. So if they are cover twoing, again, you want to kind of be in something that's similar to a bench concept. But essentially, the uh, – whoops, I forgot I wasn't – I thought I was in triple out. Essentially, what will happen against cover two, if you're in triple out, is your short corner is going to get matched by that soft squat. But then that deeper corner is just going to run over the top, and you're going to really want to bend this to the left. But that's a nice little cover two beater on that left-hand side. One other thing about cover four is you could use a play like PA boot over. And if they are in a cover four coverage, this is kind of a specific thing to cover four. You'll see this post kind of gets underneath of that quarter. So that's another route that you have in your arsenal. But in general, I would say cover four is probably one of the better ways to try to defend this formation. But that being said, you are still vulnerable to a lot of stuff. And that's where if we go back to that original kind of cheap motion play where the running back and the reason I was using this one is also because you have a running back Texas pattern kind of built into it. So you could do something like this, you know, and then and then essentially you know, you could have almost like a triple out type thing, maybe a little shorter of a corner so that it can pull that quarter a little bit better. And so you'll see here, get that nice throw on the sideline. But that's bunch tied in, guys. Um, there's a lot more that you can obviously do within this formation that is really good. One of the things being, you know, I mean, even the C route is kind of a neat little route. And kind of throw it in in between a lot of stuff. The Texas route from this is a really good route. You basically can't play man coverage against Bunch Tight End this year. Like it's, there's just so many things 
that are going to be able to be open against man coverage. So you don't really have to worry too much about man. The main coverage that you're going to need to consistently be able to attack is going to be that cover four shade down. Um, but in general, this formation with the cheap motion series and then also um, some of the you know staples from Bunch Tight then that have been really good for years is – you know, still really good. PA boot over is still a good play, um, even though it doesn't get called as much as it used to. Speaking of that, one of the things you can also do is a route combo like this, kind of an old school um, Durham, but you get that nice crosser. The, the crosser is one of the better routes in the game this year just because it consistently beats man and it consistently beats uh, and consistently gets underneath stuff. And then again, don't forget to utilize these these uh, stemmed these stemmed cheap motion routes are really 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 good. And of course, we got the running back route. I don't know if I can fit that in. It's crazy, but I'll leave it at that. That's bunch tied in, guys. Out of the Vikings book. If you guys want to check out the rest of the offense, make sure that you join the school community. School.com/slash/cody-ballard. The link to sign up is in the description down below.